Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. On September the 10th, 2019, Dr. David Sinclair published his first book, Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To. This book considers what if aging is a disease and that disease is treatable? Is it possible to slow down or even reverse aging? It also provides a vision of a not too distant future in which living beyond 120 will be commonplace. Lifespan and Dr. David Sinclair's work inspired my wife and I to start our anti-aging journey and our passion for studying scientific research on aging, which also led us to start the Modern Healthspan podcast and to share our personal experience as lab mice, I mean, who uses guinea pigs, and research studies and news on healthy aging and extending health span. We have heard for a while that Dr. Sinclair is going to publish a new book. Finally, in a recent interview with Bridgewater Associates, he gives more details on his new upcoming books, not only one of them. Let's see what Dr. Sinclair said. Another book coming. Is there another book coming? And what topics could we look forward to in that? Well, I actually have uh, two, maybe three books that will be coming out um, one after another. The one that I'm writing is now titled uh, Survival, and it's about the, the technological treadmill that we have found ourselves on over the last 6 million years since our ancestors first picked up a stick and used it as a tool. And there are four traits that make up, make up humanity's uh, um, ability to shape, change the world and shape it. Uh, we're storytellers, we're explorers, uh, we are tool makers, and we're time travelers. And these traits are different than any other animal on the planet. And it, those traits have gotten us to a point where we have a world that in many ways is, is so artificial that none of us can survive in the wild anymore. And there are good parts about it, but there's a lot of bad things about the world we live in. Environmental degradation is just one of them. There's problems with um, social media, there's problems with sleep, there's problems with our food. There's a long list. So the first thing that I'm addressing in the book is how did we get here? The second is what do we do now that we're in this situation where we need even more technology to get us out of the problems that we've already created? And then the third is what can we do as, as individuals to, to live better lives? And what then what does the future look like? Part four is can we ever get off this treadmill? Mm. Or is a species that speaks, picks up a stick and starts using these advanced tools and grows a big brain because they're trying to outmaneuver other members of their clan. Uh, is, are those animals, whether they're on another planet somewhere in the universe or just us, can we ever get off the technological treadmill? And I think the answer is no. Once you're on this treadmill, you can never get off, um, you know, unless you want to go extinct, but we do not want that to happen anytime soon. So the solutions that I have I'll lay out are, Today, let's use the four traits that have gotten us here to get us out of these problems that we've created. We're very excited to hear that Dr. Sinclair is going to publish a few new books, and he is also going to start broadcasting his own podcast soon. We appreciate that Dr. Sinclair has called for greater international attention to the aging field. We shall keep you updated on this. Please stay tuned.